Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Lico 15 3 sum. Given an array nums of n integers, are there element a, b, c in nums such that a, b, c plus equal to zero? So find all the unique triplet in the array which give the sum of zero. So notice this solution set may not contain the duplicate triplet. So yeah, just add up equal to zero and then put those uh, combination into the output array and output it. So the example one here is straightforward. You see um, negative one plus negative one plus two, so equal to zero. And also negative one, neg zero and one, add up also equal to zero. Then we output this two combination and as an answer. As empty array, so output nothing. If it's zero, you cannot make an up to three numbers. So there's nothing to output. So how do we solve this problem? By looking at this array, uh, it's kind of confusing how to pick the number, but we can sort it first. And here's, I type it out. Now we sort this array from original order to uh, ascending order now. So you can see uh, we need three number. We can always, uh, we can look at this three number one by one and by looping the whole um, array right now from here to the last third digit as a, a, which is the first number, then you can find first number is negative four and the rest of this number during this rest of the number, we have to find something combining equal to four. So now we take a look at this remaining integer and set up a pointer, beginning pointer here, ending pointer here. So it turned this into a two pointer, uh, two sum problem. So as you know, the two sum having left pointer here, right pointer here, and then you see if the left pointer, right pointer add up equal to four or not. So if they're not equal to four, um, then check. Now they add up only negative one. So we need to increase the left pointer and then keep increasing the left pointer until they find it. If it's bigger than that, we move right pointer to uh, make the sum smaller until they find it. So now we move the left pointer to the end of the array, like one and two, this combination. We see it cannot make any combination with A, which equal to negative four. Then we move the A equal to negative one. Now negative one now, we see left pointer right here, right pointer here, then we have combination. Then we output it to the, um, the array. Then after this, and left pointer, right pointer are currently right here. Then both of them get closer by one step until they meet each other. Then you see um, negative one, zero, and one is also another combination and put those to the output. And then just repeat that process until the A pointer reach to this point. And then this is the last combination data can get for this three number. And that's it for this question. So now we can take a look at the code and see how it looks. So usually we start with making the, uh, let's see, the, the output first. Output, go to new. Um, so now first thing we need to do is um, do the sorting for, uh, sorry, so nums. So now we sorted num and we will have a for loop. I start with zero and I will end with the last third number. So which is the link 
minus two. So now we have a in the for loop. So we'll have a starting pointer equal to i plus one, ending pointer equal to num stop link minus one, yes. So we have this two pointer set up. We have a condition while loop. Okay, sorry, let me type this out first. Return the output right here. Now look back to the while loop. Since we pick up the first element right here, left pointer and right pointer. So while star less than n, and we have to do something. So we have currently what? Now we have a and start and n. So current sum of this location will be nums i plus nums star plus num n. So we have star and n three pointer right now add up to together. So it's current sum. So if current sums equal to zero, so we find it, then we will have output the add the combination arrays as list. So we found that nums i, we have num star num n, okay. num n in this list, right? So now we get the three pointer to the output as a list right here. And then we have a while loop. Now, if they have multiple one, Let's see. So now the A is not changing. So A will still be here. If anything, uh, if we found, for example, if the A doesn't change and B doesn't change, what it means is, uh, in this case, for example, this add up equal to uh, zero. At that case, we can move this left pointer. We don't need to uh, have the same one again. We don't need to have the same one as a B again. And then we can move forward until we see another B. At that time, we make sure star less than N and nums Star equal to nums star plus one. At that time, star plus plus. Just make sure we, we, we don't process a duplicate anymore. And same as n equal to nums n minus one. I mean, you can see if the A is not changing, B is not changing. The only solution is the same solution. Yeah, so at that time we don't have duplicate for this output, then we just skip. We're skipping the same number. Sorry for explaining for so long. <laughs> it took me a while to how to make it easier to understand. So star plus plus. After that, we move the pointer uh, star plus plus and minus minus. So now we need to check else if, else if current bigger than zero, what do we do? 
So the current is too big. So we need to make n minus minus else star plus plus. You know, it's just moving the uh, the range based on how they compare with the zero. Now we have the while loop done and everything should be good right now for loop output. Let's check it. Wait, so we have one, two, and uh, okay. I think we need to check one more things here. Give me a second. Okay, I got it. Uh, we also need to check there's no duplicate for, um, I mean, the left two, I mean, A2. So now we check the no big duplicate for B and C, but we forgot to check the duplicate for A. So if I equal to zero, we can we can run or um, num i not equal to nums i minus one. So that means no matter what, you can start with the zero. If if here has a negative one, then we won't we will skip this one. We'll skip this one because we already have one as a A already. Let's see. Oh, sorry. So now we put this while loop. Where does it go? Inside here. Uh, so that should be good. While this one delete some empty space. And that's it for this question. Uh, and I will submit it right now. Cool, this is threesome. And this question been asked by company like Amazon, Facebook, Bloomberg, basically most of the company. And I saw people get interview with the twosome, which is too easy. But I think threesome, like some corner case like this, we need to consider corner case like this, we need to consider which is more like a real world uh, interview questions and the same level. So uh, I think this question is pretty good to practice, like how you move the pointer, something like that. So if you have any question, please comment it below and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.